To find the derivative of arc cosine of x, let's say y equals arc cosine of x, and then we'll find dy dx using implicit differentiation. For our first step, let's just take the cosine of both sides of this equation. That way, on the left, we'll have cosine y, and on the right, since cosine is the inverse of arc cosine, they'll cancel out and we'll just have x. We know the derivatives of everything in this equation, so now we can start to use implicit differentiation. Taking the derivative on the left, the derivative of cosine y is negative sine y, but by the chain rule, we also have to multiply by the derivative of y, the inside function. The derivative of y is dy dx, and of course, that's the piece we're trying to solve for. On the right, the derivative of x is just 1. Since we're trying to solve for dy dx, let's divide both sides by negative sine y to get it by itself. That gives us dy dx equals 1 divided by negative sine y. We would like to have this derivative expressed in terms of x. Since x is equal to cosine y, let's see how we can express sine y in terms of cosine. We can do this using the Pythagorean identity. As you probably recall, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. But that means sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared. Then, taking the square root of both sides, sine of y must equal the square root of 1 minus cosine squared of y. So we can rewrite this derivative, moving the negative to the numerator, and then that just leaves sine y in the denominator, which we know by the Pythagorean identity is the square root of 1 minus cosine squared of y. But remember, cosine of y is x. So cosine squared of y is x squared. Thus, our derivative is negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. So that's the derivative of arc cosine of x. It's a formula worth remembering, and here's what it looks like in context of the chain rule. If we have arc cosine of u, where u is a function of x, as opposed to just having arc cosine of x by itself, then by the chain rule, the derivative is negative u prime, the derivative of that inside function divided by the square root of 1 minus the inside function squared. For example, if we have the derivative of arc cosine of negative 3x squared, that's equal to negative derivative of the inside function. The derivative of the inside function is negative 6x, and we need the negative of that, which is just positive 6x. And in the denominator, we have 1 minus the inside function squared. Negative 3x squared squared is 9x to the fourth. And so that would be the derivative. Get in